Welcome to TLH Patterns. I am Pradeepa. In today's video, I'll show you how to crochet these leg warmers. These are adult size leg warmers. If you visit my blog, thelazyhobbyhopper.blogspot.com, I have given the return pattern with uh, 5 different adult sizes ranging from 13 inches of calf circumference to 18 inches. You can find the link in the description box as well as my comment section. Out of that, I am doing the second size with the actual calf circumference of 14 inches. The circumference of the finished leg warmers would be about 1 to 1.5 inches less than your actual calf circumference which is taken at the widest part. To start, first take a measuring tape and take the measurement of your calf at its widest part. Minus 14 inches. To make these leg warmers, I used about 390 meters of light worsted weight or DK weight yarn. I used crochet hooks in two sizes, 4 mm or G for the lower ribbing and 5 mm or H for rest of the leg warmers. You will also need measuring tape, yarn needle and scissors. I am working from bottom up. So first we will start with the lower ribbing. Make a slip knot and using your 4 mm crochet hook work 11 chains. These 11 chains are for all the sizes. Now make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then rest of the chains across you will have 10 single crochets. Okay, now the first row is complete. We'll start the next row, chain 1 and turn. And in this row, you're going to work only into the back loops of each stitch. You can see each stitch has two loops, one in the front and one at the back. So here in this row, you will be working only into the back loops of each stitch. That is the back loop of the first stitch. Work single crochet in the first 9 stitches. All these stitches are worked only into the back loops. I have worked 9 single crochets and the last one will be worked into both the loops. So the last stitch alone will be worked into both the loops. Then chain 1 and turn. And in this row, you will work only in the front loops of uh, each stitch. This will be the wrong side of the ribbing. Here you will work only into the front side. I mean the front loop. single crochet in the front loops of the first 9 stitches then single crochet in both the loops of the last stitch I'll work the last stitch into both the loops. Chain 1 and turn. You will repeat these two rows working into back loops only and working into front loops only. So for this size, I'm going to work a total of 52 rows. This is for the calf circumference of 14 inches. 
for a calf circumference of 13 inches you will work 46 rows and uh, for a circumference of uh, 15 inches you will work 58 rows for 17 inches 64 rows and for 18 inches 70 rows you will find all this in the return pattern in my blog the lazy hobby hopper you can find the link in the description box so here i am repeating the two rows working into back loops only and working into front loops only if you want to make the leg warmers in any other sizes other than the ones that i have mentioned you will need to have stitches in multiples of uh, 3 plus 2 for the body of the leg warmer so for example let's take 33 as a multiple of 3 uh, add to that 2 so that would be 35 so the body of the leg warmer will have 35 stitches the total number of rows you will need to make for the lower ribbing would be one less which would be 34 you can see the right side of the ribbing has these uh, vertical ridges Here I have worked 52 rows. This is for the um, second size with a calf circumference of uh, 14 inches. That is the actual calf circumference is 14 inches. So the width of the ribbing is uh, 2 inches and the length would be 13 inches. Now I'll switch to the 5 mm crochet hook. You would have finished the ribbing part on the right side and now we will work single crochet along the length of the uh, ribbing working one stitch in uh, each row. So here you will make the first stitch in the first row over here. You will work the second stitch on the you will work the second stitch on the ridge here the third stitch here fourth on the ridge fifth here sixth seventh and so on so you will have a total of uh, 52 stitches plus one at the end which will be 53 single crochets this is my first stitch the second one i'll work on the ridge here third here you can see that smaller uh, line you will work the third stitch over there and the fourth on the ridge fifth here the 52nd stitch on the ridge and the 53rd stitch at the end so totally there are 53 stitches and then chain 3 and turn skip the next stitch and then work double crochets in the next two stitches and then work double crochet in the skipped stitch this will form a crossed double crochet again skip the next stitch and then work double crochet in the next two stitches the next double crochet in the skipped stitch
skip the next stitch and work double crochet in the next two stitches double crochet in the skipped stitch repeat this across I have reached the end of the row, skip the next stitch and work double crochet in the next two stitches. Double crochet in the skipped stitch. And then you will work a double crochet in the last stitch. You will be repeating this row throughout. Chain 3, turn, skip the next stitch and work double crochet in the next two stitches. Double crochet in the skipped stitch. Skip the next stitch and work double crochet in the next two stitches. Double crochet in the skipped stitch. Repeat this across and you will finish the row with the double crochet in the last stitch. Repeat the row until uh, the total height is about 2 inches less than the uh, height of the leg warmer. Uh, so for uh, this size the height is 18 inches. So I made this 16 inches high. And always finish on the right side. The length is same for the first size with a 13 inch calf circumference. And uh, increase 2 inches for the next size with a 15 inch calf circumference. And for uh, 17 and 18 inch calf circumferences make it up to 20 inch high. You can adjust the length according to your wish but always finish on the right side. And then make 11 chains. Then single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in rest of the chains. There will be 10 single crochets and now make a slip stitch in the next stitch. So here this is the second stitch make a slip stitch here and then make a slip stitch in the next stitch also. Then turn this will be on your right side and here you will work single crochet in the back loops of the first 9 stitches only in the back loops Work the last stitch that is the 10th stitch into both the loops. Chain 1 and turn. And in this row work into front loops only. So starting from the first stitch work single crochet in the front loops of 
each stitch. Then slip stitch in the next stitch of the body of the leg warmer. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Then turn and work single crochet in the back loops of each stitch except the last. Then work the last stitch into both the loops. Now repeat these two rows until the end. The upper ribbing is also complete. Total height is 18 inches. Width at the bottom is 12 inches. And the width at the top is 13 inches. It's one inch less than my actual calf circumference. Now fold it into half vertically with the wrong side out and you can uh, cut the yarn off leaving a long tail. Thread this tail through your uh, yarn needle and uh, sew the edges together. When you have completed sewing, pull the right side out. You can find the free return pattern in my blog thelazyhobbyhopper.blogspot.com The link is provided in the description box as well as the comment section. And um, the pattern includes four more adult sizes. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this pattern and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.